What's up gamers? We're back with another Marvel Future Fight video and I just wanted to go over some fifth gear questions and fourth slot gear questions that have been coming across my mind. What to do with this fourth slot here, what to do here with this fifth slot and I just want to make some general things blanket statements. I just want to say I think the dodge gear is the best for most characters in the game and here's why. Like here on the Punisher, I have the 35% critical rate. So if I go into details, I can see that he has a 39.46% chance of a critical rate to do 121.26% damage. So that's basically, basically more or less adding about 8.5% damage to the character. Now I rather have a 35% chance of dodging. That's like adding 35% health. That is just a better thing to have on most characters now some characters you want to have lightning some characters you want to have poison that being said some characters you want to have regeneration but all the other characters that don't have some special thing just use dodge now what i'm doing with this is i've got the punisher suit and the uniform bonus does do some cool things with critical attack it inflicts damage by 24 percent of his hp which is 8300 so he has like a, a 2000 bonus attack every 10 seconds so what i was wanting to do in this video is i'm looking at that 39.46 and the 121.26 and if i could shift the critical rate down to the critical damage i should have a higher damage now Four slot I've got everything boosted to critical rate now what I'm gonna do just for the fun of this video is I'm gonna change everything to critical damage which should be better for me and we'll just see if this slot actually makes a difference I it's kind of a useless slot and I had been using defense penetration on most but just for this video we're gonna go through and change everything to critical damage okay first slot is done let's go into the second one change that to critical damage now what will happen by doing this is that my total damage output would go higher and that's just because if you have two numbers like you want to make the smaller of the two numbers bigger that way it multiplies out better and I guess I don't know an easy way to explain that but you have to trust me like if both numbers were closer to the same number well, that would be better than having one number really high one number really low when you multiply out so one of the numbers is right now is 39 the other one is 21 but if I could lower it down to 37 and make the other one 23 the damage will actually be higher and I think there's also some increased benefit to having critical damage over critical rate at this point anyways and we're gonna find that out and I I'm expecting oh what did I do that for oh well <laughs> I hit the wrong button I'm expecting that the, the critical rate to go down by about two percent and I'm hoping that the critical damage goes up by a higher rate than that and then when it multiplies out I'll have higher damage output than the eight and a half percent and we might not get much of a difference maybe it'll only be like one or two percent but we're just gonna see how this works out and I have a feeling that I'm gonna probably end up with the same opinion that I had before is that this slot doesn't matter <laughs> oh my goodness I say that in my videos and I keep asking people for a definitive answer on what is the best thing to do here and there probably isn't anything good to do here I mean that's kind of a funny thing all right so we're almost there when this says critical damage we'll go back in there and then we'll go and uh, do a team up mode if I've got him available I think I do I don't think I've ran him through the mission yet today critical damage okay so let's go and look into details okay so this is what happened now I've got 37.8 so that went down like a percent and a half and then critical damage went from 121 to 124 very cool let me do the math on that real quick with my calculator so before I had actually the actual math was 8.39 percent damage boost what it was so I'm gonna multiply out 9.3 Wow so we went from 8.4 to 9.3 I don't know man 
that it doesn't seem that great. So again, what Echo is saying is, I don't think this slot matters at all. I, I just, I can't get it to do anything for me at all. So we just had fun with the math there, and it's whatever. Uh, let's go and do a mission here. Let's go into Arena, and we're going to do Team Up Play. And I believe I've got my Punisher still available. Yep, let's take him in here, and we'll just see how he does. Hopefully we go up against some other five-star... What do we got here? All right, so we've got two other five stars here with us. Now, I think the Yellow Jacket actually does more damage than the Iron Man, and I don't know where the Punisher is gonna fit into this. So this is very interesting to see if this Punisher is actually any good with this suit. And I still think the Yellow Jacket is gonna out damage the Iron Man, and I think the Punisher is going to come right in the middle. So my prediction is it's going to go Yellow Jacket, Punisher, Iron Man. And we're going to see right now. All right, let's do this. Ah, this is kind of, I actually was kind of curious on, on where the Punisher was going to line up on this. Well, so we're going at it right now. And I don't know, this suit was okay. I, I don't think this suit was that great. Um, I'm hoping that this suit gets better, but you know, as it gets bigger and, you know, goes into a six star as we level out the character more. And uh, we'll see. All right, so we're 30 seconds in, so I think this total battle will probably finish up around the three minutes and 30 seconds would be my guess is where it's going to end up. We've got five, we've got three five-star heroes in here, and I still think the Yellow Jacket is going to do the most damage, even though he's the lowest in mastery and the lowest in level. I could be wrong, but it just seems to me that Yellow Jacket is just really good, and Iron Man is, is kind of mediocre. Um... You know, Iron Man gets quite a bit better when he's a six star, but Yellow Jacket is good as a five star. You don't even need to take him to six stars to get good. All right, and if it wasn't for you know the Punisher suitability, I would probably just use the Dodge, you know, uh, fifth gear rather than do that critical rate one. Uh, that's about it. Where we are. Where This is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to take. Okay, and where does the damage go? Let's see. Let's see if my prediction was correct. What do we get here? Exactly like I said. Yellow Jacket. And I just did slightly more damage than Iron Man. Well, there you go. Well, and as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.